When you leave the recovery room, you'll be transferred to a spine care unit. Your spine nurse and nursing assistant will greet you there. Their job is to help manage your pain and other parts of your care as you begin your recovery. Pain is a part of the normal healing process after surgery. Our goal is to make you comfortable enough to do the things needed for recovery, such as eating, drinking, sleeping, and moving. To assess your level of pain, we'll ask you to judge it based on a zero to 10 pain scale. Zero is no pain and 10 is the worst pain that you can imagine. Let's see if we can reposition you a little bit. Is it kind of in your lower back, upper back? Your nurse will talk to you about your personal pain goal and pain plan. These may include medicine and non-medicine options such as heat, ice, changing position, walking, and or relaxation. Your surgeon's team will choose from several types of medicines to manage your pain. We'll develop what we call a pain plan just for you. Medicines called anti-inflammatories reduce soreness and infection. Muscle relaxants can help to decrease tension in the muscles. Some patients may have stronger pain medicine, opioids, available as needed. At first, pain medicines may go into your IV. We'll then switch you to medicines taken by mouth, which is how you'll take them once discharged from the hospital. We'll ask you about your pain often to check whether your pain plan is working and to make sure you're not having serious side effects. Your vital signs will be taken every four hours for at least the first day. You also may have regular blood tests. This helps your provider make decisions about your treatment. We'll often take your blood sample early in the morning so the results are ready for your healthcare team to review. For many of these activities, your nurse or team member may have to wake you. We understand sleep is very important, but your safety is our priority. We need to monitor you closely for the first several hours after surgery to be sure you're recovering as expected. Each day at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., your nurses will give a report at your bedside to make sure you're kept up to date on your plan of care. After spine surgery, you're at risk for blood clots forming in your legs. In addition to getting up and moving, you may be given medicines to thin your blood. You'll also wear sleeves that are wrapped around your legs. They'll help pump blood from your legs back to your heart. Early in your recovery, we'll start you on a clear liquid diet like water, juice, or broth to prevent an upset stomach. Soon, you'll be placed on a more regular diet that'll include foods that are high in fiber. A high fiber diet will help prevent constipation. Constipation is common after surgery and especially when taking pain medicine. If you're uncomfortable, please let your care team know. We usually prescribe a stool softener and laxatives to help, but there are other options available if needed. After surgery, your healthcare team may include a physical therapist, also known as a PT, and an occupational therapist, also known as OT. It's likely you'll be seen by a therapist on the day following your surgery. The OT will work with you on daily tasks like dressing, bathing, and shower safety. They may recommend and show you how to use equipment to make these tasks easier and safer. The physical therapist or nurse will show you how to move in the bed, sit up, stand, and walk without disturbing the surgery site. Some patients need a walker or other device following surgery to move safely. Walking often is a very important part of your recovery. Our goal is for you to get out of bed within four hours of surgery. Your nurse or therapist will tell you when it's safe and will help you until you're ready to get up on your own. We encourage you to walk several times a day with help. Walking helps prevent blood clots, reduce constipation, and get you home faster. Depending on the type of surgery you've had, you may have restrictions in the way you can move. Ask your care team for more information on any restrictions. 
As your body gets stronger, you'll be taught more advanced skills such as getting in and out of a car or climbing stairs. This will help you get ready to go home. Every couple hours they have you sitting up, eventually you stand up, and then they guide you around the room walking a few steps at a time. It felt safe because they were with you the whole time you're doing it. My procedure was a, a lumbar fusion. I was in the, in the hospital for two days. Everybody you know, was, I guess, rooting for me, if you will, um, to, to recover. I spent a week in the hospital recovering from the surgery. They were very attentive and very helpful in me getting on my feet. He, because of the Parkinson's, stayed in the hospital longer than some. They had him up. He was not sitting around at all, but I never worried, are they doing too much? Because I watched him get stronger and stronger every day. My best advice for when you're in the hospital, don't rush it, listen to them, take your pain meds, don't let the pain get out of control. The nurses are excellent. Your comfort and safety are very important to us. During your stay, you'll see your healthcare team washing their hands before and after they care for you asking you your name and date of birth, checking your armband before they give you medicines or providing care, making sure your call bell is plugged in and helping you get up. Please remember to ask for help anytime you want to either go to the bathroom, the sink, or out into the hallway for a walk. We ask that you call, don't fall. While we appreciate visitors wanting to help you, be sure you have permission from your care team. For your safety, we encourage you to let us know if we miss a quality step. We're partners in your recovery. Please ask questions and be involved because your voice matters.